my friend Usman just told you a bit about it. Uh, the name of Senegal comes from several versions. Some people say that uh, when the first Europeans stepped in, they asked people the name of the river, pointing out. But the natives thought they want, they want to know the name of their land, of their boat. They told, told them, that's your boat. That, that's your boat. Your means sin. And boat is gal. So sin, gal is what means your boat. But there's another version. You know, uh, they were living on the right side of the Senegal River. And uh, a tribe of Mauritanian, they were Berbers, they were white. And uh, they used to cross the river and snatch girls and kids to enslave them. That happened, unfortunately. And uh, women, to prevent their kids from being snatched away, just told them about a kind of monster that would come from the river called the Zenega. But because that, F, that tribe is the Nega, Zenega, the tribe. So Zenega is mispronouncing to Senega. Well, that's where the name of the country comes from. Okay, I adjust that version of it because we know that uh, in uh, um, 18. 86. The Mauritanian, that tribe, invaded the village, the, uh, their village. By, by, by that time, all men went trading and uh, uh, taking their, their cattle to farm. Only women were there. And the queen just told the girls to wear their, uh, their husband's um, uniforms and to be ready to fight. And they fought so well that the Moetian, the, the Zenega people ran off. But they realized that uh, the guy was fiercer than that time. And they came back and knew that they were just ladies that kicked them away. But the ladies knew that they were overnumbered. All of them gathered into a hut but they feed just one lady because the lady was pregnant. And they lit the hut and all of them died. And we call it the Talata of Nder. The village is Nder, N-D-E-R. And uh, that's where we, we talk about the Talata of Nder because uh, in souvenirs that happened on a Tuesday in March the 7th in 1886. In the, in, in the north of Senegal. And uh, you see a lot of Senegalese people wearing, uh, I would say, brasses, silver brasses. Uh, there was a lady, a, a, a queen called Ndate, Ndate Yana in the, this is a um, cashew tree forest, cashew trees on your right. On your left, on both sides. Cashew trees. Oh, yeah. On both sides, okay. Uh, on both sides. <laughs> There's no fruits on it, right? You said uh, it's called Keja. Keshu, 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 Keshu. So our Senegal part of the Keshu yes. production. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh, it's a lot. Family, everything is in Africa. <laughs> no okay. Keshu. I thought you said yeah. Is that a cashew? No, no. <laughs> I was talking about something I forgot what I was talking about. And I do also, I saw like a railroad, uh, like, like a, it looked like more of a brand new railroad. Is that yes. the railroad that takes you from Dakar to the, uh, the airport? To, to the airport, yes. Maybe not. I mean, it was good for... So, so it says operational, like say if we wanted to, to go to the airport by using the yeah, yeah, train. It will be, it will be operational maybe, they say next year, 2020. Perfect. <laughs> and I mean it's going to, it's going to go right to the airport, like, uh, because not, we're, we're, yeah, not far away, but I mean, close enough to where you can take another ride. Is, another project is to get very close to the airport and you're going to get a bus. 
tra for transfer from the dead, the dead, dead station to the, to the airport. Yeah, that's perfect because that's um, where I lived at in um, New York and also in Atlanta. The, the train station, the train go right to the airport. It's wow. amazing. Like you get off and you just walk to your, you know, you go wow. to your, your checking account. It's, it's connected like that. Wow, that's, great. Um, that's great. Yeah, so it's, just, it's it's impressive to see that you know we're developing and we're doing some of those things. And you can learn a lot from other countries who have developed certain things. Yeah. But your transportation is the business, family. Moving all these people around uh, different countries. It's, it's transportation is it? So, uh, the Senegal is taking up, I mean, they're sleeping. <clears throat> so, uh, the name of Senegal comes that tribe of uh, Mauritanians or Barbarians uh, that were coming over to snatch uh, women. And um, as uh, Usman told you, we have 196,175 square kilometers. When we were younger, just after independence, we had, we were used to say, 201,000 kilometers. What happened is uh, Senghor, our former president, just gave part of our land to Mauritania so that we can uh, be several states investing in the river for um, uh, to give up the river, uh, the, the river valley. And that's what, what they did. So we, uh, and uh, we have in Senegal 50, 17 million people belonging to, as I tell you, 24 ethnic groups. Ethnic groups speaking different languages. So we have 24 different languages. We just use French as an official language and administrative language. Yeah, administration. Okay, any question is welcome. They're tired, they're tired. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Don't worry, when we get everyone out to the pink lake, uh, they'll be up. Yeah, yeah, sure. Sure. Thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. This family. All right.